Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, so I am getting ready to uh, head out and try a new spot, basically on the same property that I was the last two days, but on the complete opposite side of the property. I was looking at the maps, and there's a big thicket over there. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is try to get right on the edge of that thicket for this evening's hunt, and maybe still be able to shoot to the corn. I'm gonna have to see how close that corn comes up to the thicket, but. We'll try a couple different things. Basically, we're just gonna go in there blind and uh, try to get a little bit of like on-foot scouting done and then make a decision from there. So anyway, I'm gonna swing by through the Casey's, the little local Casey's gas station, grab myself a coffee, grab some food, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys out there. All right guys, so I got here to the property and I'm looking it over on the maps. The more I think about it, the more I think I'm gonna go ground assault, leave the uh, hanging hunt set here because I've never been to the backside of this property and uh, it looks pretty dang thick. I don't know that I'm gonna to want to be in a tree anyway. So I'm just gonna take the tripod, um, some extra clothes and head back in there, do a ground assault. It worked for my last buck. We'll see if it works again here in Missouri. I think. We are good to go. I'm just gonna strap the GoPro up on my bow, start hiking in. I got everything set up and ready for a ground assault. We're heading way, way back in there. Three quarter mile hike, so I'm gonna get it started. Side of this bridge set up right on this trail. The corn is right up there. The big brick bottom is down there. Looks great. Find the spot somewhere here close. Alright, so I've got one trail, two trails, three trails four trails, all to intersect down in that bottom. So I wanted to get high up on this bank to get my wind blowing. The wind is blowing straight up this way. So anything that comes down the bottom won't wind me. And this one trail right here is about eight yards. So, and that's the main trail. If they come down here, it's gonna be an eight yard chip shot. <coughs> and up here, there's this little rise. <coughs> Got a ton of cover behind me. It's actually a deer bed right here. I'm going to set up right here in this deer bed, overlooking this big bottom. If anything comes through from here down to that creek, I should be able to have a shot. I mean, all the way to 40, 50 yards. So, I think I'm in the zone. Make sure all my leaves are cleared out so I won't make any noise moving around. This is my spot right here.
I just had a buck come in behind me at five yards. And as I was talking about it, another buck comes down the trail right here at 10 yards. Neither of them shooters, just two and a half, three and a half year old deer. This could be an excellent spot for tomorrow morning. start packing up and heading back to the truck. I got a three-quarter mile walk. I forgot my headlamp. I just want to make sure I know which way I'm going. You can always follow the maps, but I'm going to work my way out of here. I'll see y'all back at the truck. I went in there today. Um, more or less, like, I had not never been back there, so I wanted to kind of get a feel and a lay for the land before I brought my hanging hunt set in. So I went in and I hunted from the ground and honestly had a pretty dang good hunt. I think that's an area that they're gonna be using for cruising and checking for does, so I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna grab my hanging hunt set, pack it in, I found a good tree in there. Um, that I think would be just perfect for hanging in down in that bottom that I can still shoot up to the uh, edge of the ridge line and I can shoot down to the bottom across the creek. So it should be a good spot for the morning. Good morning guys. I just pulled up to the spot about an hour before first light right now and uh, I got a three quarter mile hike back in there to do this hanging hunt I'm trying to get it started early but I'm hoping I have enough time an hour seems like a long time but when you got a slither in there real quiet and uh, try not to bump anything on the way in and hang the set um, you're gonna need every bit of that hour so um, gonna pack things up get things ready head in I was in here yesterday evening 
I saw four bucks, one doe, and uh, all four bucks were in shooters. They were younger, but um, it's promising anyway, because, I mean, there's a lot of activity. So, haven't seen a deer yet since setting up this morning, but I'm hopeful. I was super, super quiet getting the stand hung. This was not an easy stand to hang. I don't know why this tree is just like, it was not an easy stand, it was nerve wracking, but it is what it is. I, I've got my safety harness, so if anything were to happen, it would catch me. I just, I don't know, it was just one of those trees. Every once in a while you get that where you're just, either your mind or something is playing a mental game with you and it's probably because off to the right hand side of this tree is a 25 foot drop. I just, it felt like I was really, really, really high. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to set up here. And hopefully we get some deer come in. Well, it's about noon and about 11.40. Turned around in the stand and right down here. I mean, that buck was 18 yards. Just a two and a half year old with ridiculous potential. It's good that they're moving though. I mean, he literally, it was 11.40 when he showed up. So maybe they're on the cruise. Here another 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna eat my lunch which consists of beef jerky sticks, nuts, raisins, and a little bit of candy. <laughs> oh yeah. On that cheese at life. <laughs> Hip! Hip! Oh my goodness. What in the heck? Are you kidding me? Okay. Get back here.
get back over here. That was a giant buck. Just had him right underneath my stand. What the heck? What just happened? I couldn't grab my bow fast enough. A buck just went. Oh my gosh. A doe came flying through here and a small buck behind it. And then another doe came and I don't even know how many deer just ran underneath me, but that buck underneath me was freaking giant. I didn't have my bow. It's freaking one o'clock in the afternoon. What in the world? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me, are you kidding me, oh my gosh, Steven, what's up, Steven, I just shot the biggest buck of my life. That is awesome, dude. That is awesome. How big is he? Oh, he's dead right here, dude. I just shot him at one yard underneath my stand. I no smoked way. him. I just videoed him roll down the hill. He's 10 yards. He's dead right here. Congratulations, dude. dude. Freaking pumps. Did you smoke him? Oh, freaking hammered him, dude. He's dead right here. Holy smokes. Did you get it on film? I don't even know, dude. I just started my... I think I got all the audio, but... I started my camera... Oh my gosh, dude. What in the hell? That is, awesome. that is the most crazy experience I've ever... Ever had happen to me. I'm like, sitting... I'm in my stand here. And... Oh, dude. What in the world? Yep. Dude, I just got a freaking ridiculous adrenaline dump. That... <laughs> Could not have happened to a better guy, man. I'm so excited for you. How are we going to get this thing out of here? <laughs> I've got four rollers, rangers at my house, and I've got a trailer. It'll be easy. Steven, I just shot the biggest buck of my life. Thank you so much. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. Yo. All right, I'll send you pictures. <laughs> yes, yeah, send me some pictures. Be safe climbing down. I will. I will. I will. Uh, all right. Later, all right, dude. Bye. bye. Look at this guys, here's where my bow hangs. There he is, right there. <laughs> wow, that was insane. He came running up off of this ridge right here, chasing that doe and he ran right below the stand right here, ran across, ran out into that open field back here and I couldn't get him to stop and they ran around in that bottom down over there for five eight minutes and I said a prayer I'm like please bring him past my stand I'm ready this time because I didn't have my bow in my hand the first time and 
I hear him running around. I hear him tearing back up this top, tall point. And right off this ridge right here, I saw that doe come barreling back through. And I went to full draw on the doe. The doe jumps down right here, runs right back down underneath my stand. And that buck was falling right behind her. And he jumps right down on this trail. And he was standing right there when I shot him. Absolutely smoked him. He runs up on the edge right here and he was standing on that that uh, embankment right there and he just fell over and died right there. There he's laying right there. That is absolutely insane. And that's the biggest deer I've ever killed. <laughs> oh man. I am so pumped. Is this Wes? Wes. Huh? Wes. Bro, give me the good news, bro. Wes. Oh, dude. Dude, did you do it, bro? I just killed the biggest deer I've ever killed. No. And he's no, you did, and man. he's he's laying ten yards behind my stand. No, he's not, dude. I'm not even I'm not even kidding you. What the heck, bro? Dude, it happened twenty minutes. When I called you the first time, that's when it happened. Dude. Dude! Give me the rundown, bro. Yo. Bro, five by five. <laughs> Dude, congratulations, buddy. Dude, thank you so much. I am That's so okay. pumped. Well, hey, I got, I got several people waiting. All right, dude, but, you're good. But, hey, man, all right, I'll, I'll call you back in a little while. All right, thanks. All right, yeah, bye. Bye. Woohoo! All right, guys. I am getting everything packed up and I haven't even gone look at him. I'm going to get everything packed up and uh, drop down out of the stand and go look at him. Things towed. Lucky hat. I killed my other buck with this hat. Oh man. I'm so excited. Eric. What'd you kill? I just killed the biggest buck of my life. Are you serious? I'm not even kidding you. Ah, so cool. You had the best year ever. Dude. What dude. The heck? Tell me, talk to me. Oh my goodness, dude. I am I'm blown away. <laughs> he's he's dead right here 10 yards behind my stand. Oh my god. I shot him at a yard and a half below my stand. So straight down. Straight down. Smoked him. Smoked him. Smoked him. Ran up on the bank, got wobbly, and tipped over in 15 seconds. Holy crap. A clean, perfect 5x5, five five, like wide, like the dream buck. Dang, dude. Boner Jams 2019. Yeah. <laughs> dude, Rutcation, baby. The Rutcation is, it couldn't be better. Couldn't be better, dude. I've killed three mature whitetail this year. There's my stand. And there he lays. Let's go look at him, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. He's huge. He is huge. What? Are you kidding me? Thank you so much, old boy. Oh, look at that, he's got a hole in his horn. That's the biggest buck I have ever killed, hands down. Well guys, here we are, November 14th. This was the most insane whitetail hunt I've ever been a part of, period. It's hard to even explain where to start, but. So this spot is a piece of ground that uh, my good buddy Stephen McBee, um, they farm this ground. And he said, he's like, dude, I've never been out there. I've never tried hunting it. Um, never ran cameras or anything, but here's the parcel. He just showed me on the maps. He said, here's the property boundaries and stuff. Go out there, see what you can do, see if you can kill something. And uh, I tagged out in Nebraska here last week 
So I came out here to Missouri, got an over-the-counter archery tag, came out to Steven's place. I started hunting this piece of property and checking it out. And uh, I found this one drainage here and it looked absolutely phenomenal on the maps. So I decided, I'm like, well, what I'm gonna do is go check this out, sit on the ground first of all. And, uh, cause it's three quarter mile walk back here. I'm three quarter mile from any road. So um, I came in here yesterday, came all the way down into this draw, sat on the ground up there with a the tripod and hunted this and a couple small bucks pushed a doe through here. And I'm like, you know what? That is a pretty good rut corridor. I should try coming back tomorrow morning and hunting this with my hanging hunt set and sit all day long. And so that's just what I did. I came in, I hung my hanging hunt set 10 yards away in that tree right there. And uh, I sat all day. I saw a pretty good buck this morning running this open field and an awesome two-year-old buck down over here, 25 yards from the stand. And uh, just great potential with that deer. But um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sit this all day. And so I was up in that stand and about 115, 120, I hear this crashing coming through the woods and this doe comes blowing across this top, well actually this top uh, ridge line right behind me and she's got a bunch of bucks behind her running her and uh, then another doe piles through and this guy was behind her and she runs right below my stand. I mean, I'm looking at her through the grate in my stand she runs out, she runs back up to the field and I see this guy right behind her and he jumps down right below my stand and I yell at him to try to get him to stop because he was just dead set on this doe, wouldn't stop. He kept running through, rutting her and running all the way down. These deer all loop back around, they're all running out in this field. They drop down to this bottom and I could hear him down in there grunting and rutting and running these does hard and I just said a prayer. I'm like, Lord, please bring him past my, bring him past my stand again because I wasn't ready the first time. It happened so fast, I didn't even have my bow in my hand. And uh, so sure enough, five, eight minutes later, that doe comes right up on that ridge line again, and I draw my bow, and I settle my pan right on that doe, and she takes the same path. She jumps right below my stand, but this time she cut to the left of my tree, ran right underneath it, basically straight out where I'm at now. This buck came right underneath her, I mean, on a beeline right behind her. And he runs down and he stops right below my stand, a yard and a half away from the tree. And I put that arrow, I mean, perfect placement with the arrow. This buck ran up on the edge and he stumbled for about 15 seconds and fell over dead down in this ravine, 10 yards from the base of my tree. I mean, like, this is the most crazy, insane hunt. And I just feel so, so, so blessed to be able to kill this deer and Man, I just, I put in so much work. It's just, I feel like it's all paying off. And man, I just feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. But I gotta give a huge thank you to my buddy Steven, my buddy Cole, and my buddy Jesse McBee um, of McBee Farms, uh, who actually own this piece of ground, who just turned me loose on it. And they said, you know, we don't know what kind of deer are in there. We've never ran cameras, we've never hunted it. Um, but go try your luck, see if you can kill something. And the generosity of those guys is unbelievable. Guys, I cannot thank you enough. I know you're watching this, like, I can't thank you enough for this. This is my biggest whitetail, period, I, like, ever. Um, and he's so pretty, he's such a pretty cape. Just old buck. I just, I couldn't be more happy with this deer. Guys, thank you so much for watching my Rutcation series. I cannot believe I killed two mature deer on the Rutcation series. Um, I just, like I say, I, I'll pro I'm saying it a lot, but I really do, I feel blessed. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get this thing cut up, cleaned up, and I got a three quarter mile hike of getting him out of here. Um, hopefully one of the boys can bring a four wheeler down here. I don't know, we'll have to see. But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like. Um, if you like any of the Whitetail Fit gear, this is my new lucky hat. I've killed two mature deer wearing this hat um, in the past several weeks. So this is by far my lucky hat, and I'll probably name it that on the website. I'm gonna name it Lucky Hat. And uh, these will be up along with a bunch of other merch. Um, around Thanksgiving time. So if you want some gear, go ahead and get yourself some at whitetailfit.com. Thank you so much for watching. Again, smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, 
and I appreciate y'all so much, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>